Hi all, today I'm going to go through um, the, um, the pre-editor for Football Manager Handheld 2014. Um, I'll probably do a series of uh, tutorials. This, uh, this first one I'm going to describe how to um, get the, the base data files off your device and then to uh, get the actual program and then to load up and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I I use AirDroid to transfer my stuff from my device um, from my device to my computer. So that's what I'll be showing you today is how to use AirDroid. You need to install it as an app on your actual device. Fire it up, and it will give you a IP address to uh, put into your favorite browser. So I'm just going to do that now. And this uh, this IP address will be displayed on your uh, Android device. And as you uh, go to it on your Android device, it will ask you to accept or re or, uh, or reject. So accept that, and then you're presented with this this screen. So once you're here, just go to Files, and you need to browse to your Football Manager Handheld 2014 data file, which is just here. That double click, then go into the data file just here, and then you'll see you've got a, a folder called database here, and this is the one that we need. So I want to right click that, I want to download that as a zip. And as you can see, it, it's downloading, it's quite, it's not a massive file, I think about 30 meg or so. So I'll just wait for that to, uh, to download. What you will need um, is the actual application, the uh, the pre-editor, and you can get that exclusively on FMH5 in the download section. Um, you will need to uh, register for an account if you don't already um, have one. Let me just log in quickly. So you go to the download section, um, this year's um, save editor modifications, and you have it here. And so you just need to download it. Click that button and download it. I've actually already downloaded it. I've got it here. It's a zip file. And uh, what you need to do is just extract the setup. And this is my setup extracted. We just check. So they're still they're still downloading at the moment. So so that's downloading. I am going to um, install the pre editor. So just double click it. It's just a usual standard Windows um, installation wizard. Just follow it. Just read through the, the license agreement. Make sure that you're happy with that. Accept it if you are. Click next. It then asks you for the installation uh, location. It defaults to the root of the C drive. With some of the newer versions of Windows, uh, Windows 7 and 8, um, if you install it directly to your C drive root, so not, not program files, etc., when you do run the pre editor, pre -editor you have to run it in admin mode, I think. That depends on what version of Windows you're running. But I'll, I'll install it there anyway. I like it there. And I'll create a desktop icon as well. So it's just confirmation. I'm going to install it. Have a little bit of read the information. Click next. And yeah, we can launch it. You can see here in the desktop it's, um, it's created a, a shortcut for us. And also in your start menu, you'll see it's, it's um, created a a folder for you as well. So we'll just launch the application and here it is. What do let me just check on yep so it's downloaded now. So we well, yeah, downloaded before so that's fine. And what you need to do is generally I create a backup. So copy that file copy that zip file and create a, another backup of that. That's what I do. Better safe than sorry, always have a, a secondary backup. 
and what you need to do is you need to extract the database folder into the location of your choice. I've located it here already. And then going back to the pre editor, your file, load database, and you need to browse to that database folder. So I think it's in downloads. Here's database. You need to expand database and you need to actually choose which country you're going to edit. If you click just database and click OK, it's going to fail, it won't load. It's also important to um, understand which folders you're editing. So the folders called solo on the end, these are only relevant to um, the leagues if you play them by itself. So when you go to the game and you just click um, what league you want, if you click just one single league, for instance Germany by itself, then you need to edit the Germany solo folder. If you edit the Germany folder and only select Germany, it won't, it won't come through. That's the difference between the solo and the non-solo is that the solos are for singularly, singular league games and the non-solo folders is when you have multi-leagues. It's also it's a, important to remember that um, if you do load multi-leagues um, on the secondary and you know secondary leagues that you load, it depends on reputation, I think it's reputation anyway, whether or not it uh, comes through in the game. So I'm going to load up England Solo. You'll see there's a backup folder there already and that's because the application creates a backup folder uh, just in case. It goes through a simple check to see if all the correct data files are there that it needs and then it loads up. And once it's loaded, if you click database here, then you can actually get into the application. And on the left hand side you've got clubs, continents, competitions, nations, players, staff. And these are all editable apart from continents, that's there just for display at the moment. And I might look in the future to, to edit that, but not at the moment. Um, you'll see that each, each area of the database has filters. Um, the filters are done based on strings, so you can uh, search for anything that you want. So here at clubs, I'm going to search for Arsenal. You can put the full word in or the part word in and, and it'll bring it back basically. And if you want to edit um, a particular um, club or staff or players, it's, it's similar to the, the save editor from last year. All you need to do is double click on that particular um, item and you'll get the editing um, screen up. So that's it for this uh, video tutorial just to show you how to get your saves and how to uh, load up the save editor. And um, in, in my other tutorials I'll, I'll go into further details of, of what actually you can do with the editor and some, some hints and tips. Thank you.